months ago, I ditched the expensive marketing tools and PR activity to only create free content for my community. Now, I saved tons of time and money. And the result? My mailing list grew 10 times its usual rate. The ideas were just flowing out of my head into a plan and thus resulting in more clients as well. Now, would you love to hone in on what your audience um, really wants to read, watch um, and listen to so you know exactly what kind of content you need to create for them? Would you love to discover how to use content to position you as an expert um, and an authority within your niche? Well, I'm gonna show you exactly the techniques that I use myself and with my clients to go from marketing overwhelm and somewhat brain fog um, into a content machine and making more clients and more business coming your way for much less, much less time, much less money, much less stress, all of it. So why do you really need a client wait list? Um, now, having this wait list of clients or having a you know fully booked schedule um, not only means you're growing your business and your income, but also that you know you have income coming in the near future. Um, and as a small and micro business owner, that uh, in itself is worth its weight in gold, literally in gold money. Um, you know, the more clients we have, the less sleep we're going to lose over not making enough money and not having enough clients to work with. And we're not, I'm not just talking about filling your diary with random people just to pay the bills. You know, turning your community and your audience into a strawberry jam packed client list or, or even a wait list, um, it needs to be about surrounding you with your ideal clients, people that really vibe with you and you love and just cannot wait to get up and start the day to serve them and to work with them. Those are the kind of people I'm talking about when um, that we're going to connect you with. Um, and why will content help you become more visible? Well, the topic um, of becoming more visible and like finding new clients is huge. So I'm gonna talk about how you can use content um, to do this. Now, content is easily and readily available to every single one of you. So that's why it is so key to be discovering. Now, okay, so today we're gonna talk about seven ways, seven steps that you can take to start turning your audience into a client waitlist. Number one is think about your audience. You know, who do you, would you love to get in front of? Who do your audience, uh, you know, who are they? What are they doing? What keeps them up at night? Um, what are their struggles? Um, what do your audience actually want from you? What do you think they want from you? But more importantly, actually asking them what they want from you. Um, you know, you can use various websites that are listed on the page um, and in this in this guide um, to search for the topics that are coming up around your zone of genius. So you can answer those questions. You can become that authority and the go-to person that people come to within certain topics. Number two, you want to plan out your content. Now, as with anything, having a plan in place helps you get shizzle done, right? Um, it doesn't have to be complicated. It can literally just be something really simple in Google Docs or wherever you use to make your notes. Plan however works best for you. Personally, I love Notebook Brainstorm and then I use Trello or Google Docs to plan it all out and to make my to-do lists. Uh, having a plan in place set out in some kind of editorial calendar, um, it really helps me figure out what I'm launching, what services I want to push, etc. So I can then plan the content or Facebook Lives, videos, uh, written blog posts, guest blog posts as well, um, relating in, on topics relating to those services. And number three, use video to get your audience to fall in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> now we all know videos are really hot right now. I'm doing one now myself. You know, it, it isn't perfect. I am staying in somebody else's house because I'm in between house moves. So I have a random background. And at first I stopped doing video. And then I thought, do you know what? What's the point? Like it's really, really affecting me. It's holding me back. So I'm gonna do it, warts and all. Don't have my beautiful usual background. But hey, it doesn't matter. The content is what is more important. People don't care that I haven't got my seaside background. Only I do. And I can get over that. 
So use video to get your audience to fall in love with you and to get them to, and so they can get to know you. Now, by figuring out who your audience is and what they want from you, you'll start to explode like ideas and just brain fart them all over the place. Um, and, you know, tips and advice and things to share with them. Um, just one idea can be repurposed into so many different things um, and you can make it as complicated or as simple as as you want to. Um, now, using video is a strategy I used, um, the strategy I used actually, to grow my mailing list um, and within three weeks I had multiple, like I had 10 times the, its usual weekly growth rate. Um, so this really, really does work. Um, and number four, you want to be consistent. Jump into bed with consistency. Um, now, if you start to use video or any kind of content, consistency, consistency is what will um, make you start seeing results, okay? So obviously the content is important, but regularly putting that out there and continuing to show your audience that you are the authority, you will start to see results quickly. Yes, you can get media coverage and yes, there are many other ways that you can raise your business profile, but you have all of these free tools at your fingertips when it comes to content. So it's really worth in investing your time and using them. Um, create regular content. Um, that could be once a week, once a fortnight, once a month. Um, whatever you decide, just make a time scale and commit to it and stick to it more importantly. Number five, have some kind of workflow. Um, now workflows may make you feel, um, you know, a little bit brain fog again, um, if you haven't, um, if you're not really familiar with them or content or anything, but they really, really work. Now for each piece of content you create, whether it's a written blog post, a guest blog post that you've written for somebody else, or maybe just a plain video, um, use a workflow to act as a checklist for what needs to then be done to make the most of it and make sure you're leveraging every single minute that you spend doing things you know um it, like if like me you suffer from magpie brain um and your mind kind of wanders off and think oh something shiny i'll just go and check facebook or i'll just go and check email or i'll just go and do this and oh i've just remembered i need to do that for dinner um, you know, then having a workflow of what to do and this checklist of, right, I've written a blog post, this is what I need to do now, bam, 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 bam. Um, it helps you keep track with everything and you will get it done so quickly. It really does not have to take up too much of your time. And once you're in the swing of things and you get more used to it, you will get really, really quick at doing this and it's so beneficial. Any kind of way that you can save time is huge. That is the money maker. Um, Number six is just be yourself. You are enough. Um, now, the secret to building your audience and a community around you is um, that really get what you do and really dig your vibe and want to hang out with you, whether that's online or offline. It, it can be really, really simple. Now, getting on their radar leads to your audience resonating with your message, the things that you say. Maybe you really, really hone in on like their their struggles and their and they think that you are directly talking to them because you have addressed their problems, their desires, their hopes, their dreams. Um, when you and 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 even and especially coaches you kind of have to play the long game as well you know you can you can connect with people and resonate with people but they might not be ready to work with you yet but when they are they will come to you whether that's now in 6 months time or even a year or two and focus on it's really important to focus on connecting and serving your audience um to grow a community and really connect with your audience and um, when you focus on only gaining more clients and making more money your head can start to get a little bit overwhelmed and you can lose sight of what you initially set out to do and that was help people when you come from a place of helping and serving your tribe you will start to not only feel good about supporting them but you, you your business will then just organically start growing into more clients and hopefully this client wait list. Uh, and number seven, the last step, is repurpose. 
right? There's no need to reinvent the wheel and make work for the sake of it. Step away from your desk and go and spend some time with yourself and get back to your family. Whatever it is that you love doing, you do not need to work every single hour of every single day to make, to have a successful business, right? Uh, whatever content you create, um, make a note to update it or repurpose it in some way in the near future. So it saves coming up with new ideas and if anyone finds your old blog posts or your old content, you won't have outdate information on there. And if repurposing isn't something you're comfortable with, then just, just yet, yeah, then don't worry about it. But do remember to promote your content you've created after the day that it was published. So people can continue to see it, it's evergreen stuff, and they will enjoy the um, the hard work that you put into creating that. There's nothing worse than creating things um, and nobody, nobody seeing them because you haven't told the world about it. So those are my seven tips, my seven steps to turning an audience into a client waitlist. So you wanna think about who your audience is and who you wanna get in front of. Plan out some content. Use video to really let them connect with you and really resonate with your message. Be consistent, have a workflow, um, put some processes in place. Be yourself and repurpose stuff. You know, don't reinvent the wheel. And if you really loved those seven, um, seven ways to turn your audience into a client wait list, then I have even more tips and tricks for you. You can get instant access to a webinar recording that I recently hosted um, all about that we go really in, in depth into um, content and how to connect with your audience and turn them into a client wait list and make more money, grow your business and just be happy with what you are doing and how you are serving the world, which is really, really important. So I hope you enjoy the, the recording and this guide and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.